Just thank everybody. I, I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Cool. I hope the uh, you our, our seniors over there don't get offended. Hope I'm not too loud. Um, <laughs> man, good thing that wasn't there. <laughs> Top order skills. What happened? Dennisville. So I'm just gonna get into it. All right. Uh, just follow me on, on this journey. Um, and so you know, same thing as something with optimism, right? That's a theme, right? So optimism yeah. comes in different ways. So. I remember the last time Jeremy spoke. Words muffled, voice choked, wrapped with noose. Tongue tied, mouth open, wide like a gaping chasm. So many times he tried, caught in a mental whip tide that pushed his true self aside. Smelt, felt small as an atom. He'd hide his boyish charm, avoid confrontation. There was that painstaking moment that he wanted to share about a group of students who began screaming, calling him a queer to smear his character. He became despondent. When a group of these rodents chased him, left his arm broken because they couldn't stand to see him walk upright. More humorous to them when he's uptight, at his expense. Jeremy wealthy, but he broke. I felt there was something he wanted to tell me. Thought I heard a sound come out his throat, kind of off note, here but remote. Been called an oxymoron. An oxy, but more a Lexapro. Numb from head to toe, he wanted to feel. Got to a point where he couldn't differentiate real from fake, sleep from awake, love or hate, either or. Spent a lifetime looking for a cure to be pure, untapped, unscathed, from a fate, coarse hands laid bare, no pubic hair, head shaved. Last time he felt someone cared. Damn. Used to sit at the lunch table together. Tell me about beating his highest score in that one game. One of those few times the pain would subside. Felt he had to choose sides. Saw it in his eyes. Watched his chest rise as he breathed in. Gasped for air to share his last words that rung louder than that 44 caliber magnum that left me hearing impaired. Jeremy, he climbed on that chair. Stood on the lunch table while people scurried sporadic and scared. This been bubbling for years, tired of him mistreated by his peers, tired of a family that doesn't care, tired of feeling like not belonging anywhere, tired of living in fear, tired. In that moment, Jeremy dared to imagine a life without pain. Oh. Yeah. That's the sound of the man working on the chain. Yeah, yeah, don't you know? That's the sound of the man working on the chain. Gang, not just the man, women and children too, plowing away like their lives don't matter. American dream built for others. Theirs nightmare, broken, shattered, life feel worn, torn into shreds, tatters, Work hard but still call lazy slackers when people are denied of their nature? That is the quintessential definition of a natural disaster. Where can a people truly find peace? Doesn't seem like we'll be here but in the after. Especially when the police are simply following orders from mass. Children then left without parents to grow up as old, dirty bastards. Another statistic. Watching the loved one being kicked, knee pressed against neck, hit with nightstick, shot because their skin color makes them a targeted threat. How sadistic. This a reoccurring pick. Chalk outlines body, pencil sketches another profile. Black and indigenous deaths an artistic hobby that seem like they are not going out of style. Western fashion loves to appropriate. Spreads their hate, manifest destiny, another word for rape. Castrate a people from the heritage. How ironic when the real savages call other savages for the way they live. That is privilege. When you have the power to change the narrative in your favor, when you annex a people on their own land then take another group to slave as free labor, when those groups demand justice, you say they're displaying criminal behavior. Does your fear have you saying those groups will become just us, then return the favor? Then to gaslight, not talking about burning crosses, Nah, 
They then remind us about a piece of paper written four scores behind closed doors by eugenicists and enslavers with their pompous and propriety to serve their self-interest. If all men were created equal, then why did a piece of paper say blacks were considered three-fifths? Why did indigenous spirits get replaced with Jesus? Why were Asians dismissed? Oh, I know, I know the answer. Because they were racist. As a nation, we've struggled to face this. Some people say they don't see color. Then ask them what their favorite color is. Ask them what's the color of their eyes. If they're not colorblind, then ask them to look at the red, brown, yellow, and black faces where traces of their ancestors' footsteps to get their head are imprinted on all these racist backs. The system has cracks. Light shining on this facade. 2020 made the world stop in its tracks. Take a close look at Brianna, George, Ahmad, Elijah, Prince, Atiana, Aura, Stephen, Botham, Philando, Alton, Michelle, Freddie, Eric, Akai, Tamir, Michael, Tanisha, Sean, and the list goes on and on and on. And y'all, I know it's the same old song, but it's been so long, caught in a dystopian reality. Shakespeare couldn't have written a better tragedy, Othello. Today, we're reversing the polarity, lifting the gravity that is weighed down on our shoulders to erase the images of seeing innocent BIPOC people as another casualty where qualified immunity will be treated as a fallacy. Systemic racism will be shown no mercy and equality will not be idolized, but realized in this current reality. And remember, we do not want charity. It is not yours to give, just some reciprocity because all we want to do is live. That's the sound of the man, hold up, working on the train. Gay anger, don't you know? That's the sound of the man working on the chain. Yeah. Woo! I don't want to. I, I, I don't know if we're cutting like cutting in line here, um, but I wanted to come closer because I, I definitely this idea of connection. We are a community, um, and I'm really. Loving the space, I'm loving the opening air of it. So, ooh! <laughs> ooh you, oh, you about to go there with it. Wow! I'm like, <laughs> there's been times that I've learned. Let me stop. Um, Sorry about that. But if any of y'all want to come out and like jam with me, um, I want I want definitely, I want my beatboxer. Um, I want my small town uh, brother right there. What we do for love. <laughs> Yo, you know I want that, yo, that voice right there, come on up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we're there, come on up here. You can then start going into the next, I don't, I don't want to cut in line, so I'm saying, I don't know how you phase it, but That's how we flow it. Okay, Perfect. Then. okay all right. then, all right. If you also plays the keys, I heard, and I got a set of keys. All right, right somebody here. got some keys, I know you blow the sax. Transformers were in the house, let's give it up. Optimism. You've been requested.